it's Amor Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to share with you my little ricotta stuffed mushrooms. They're so good, little pillows of heaven as I like to call them. They go like hotcakes anytime I serve them and they're great for a couple of different reasons. One of them, I really like that they're vegetarian so everyone can eat them and feel great about them. And number two, I really like that I can assemble these ahead of time and just put them in the oven. 15 minutes before my guests arrive and they'll be hot and delicious without having to do any of the work. But before we get started, I'm going to run through the ingredients for you. You're going to need some mushrooms, of course, and I'm choosing to use my little cremini mushrooms. And all I did was take a little spoon and hollow them out so we have a little pocket here for the filling. And I'm doing these bite size, which is why I'm using the little ones. And you're also going to need some parmigiano reggiano, some ricotta, breadcrumbs, fresh parsley, lemon, balsamic glaze, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Now, I want to point something out to you. This is, I don't know if you guys are familiar with balsamic glaze. It is such a good and delicious ingredient. It's made with really good quality balsamic vinegar and sugar. It's cooked together, reduced to get a really sort of sticky and delicious glaze that goes really well with either savory dishes or sweet dishes. Now, this is the Mandarano balsamic glaze and sauce of Modena. It's imported from Italy, and I love this so much, I actually contacted the company so that I could get a coupon code for you so that you can go ahead and check it out. And I'll link the coupon code at the end of the video. There'll be information for that. But, the first thing you wanna do is get your oven nice and hot to 425. It's the first thing you're gonna do. Second thing you're gonna do, well, I'm gonna put the mushrooms out of the way for now and get our filling started. We're gonna need some ricotta. And I'm going to actually use, you're not going to need a whole lot, so that's going to be plenty. I'm actually going to use part skim ricotta because it doesn't really make a difference in this case. And it just works really well either way. Some parmigiano reggiano. Chopped up a little fresh parsley here. I'm also going to use some of this lemon zest. Not a whole lot. Maybe the zest from a quarter of a lemon. Perfect. It's just gonna bring a little bit of brightness to this and just trust me, it works. Season this with salt and pepper. Don't go too heavy on the salt because we have the ricotta, we have the parmigiano, and those are very salty elements. So we don't wanna go nuts there. So, take a spoon, mix this all together. Now put your mushrooms in a little baking dish like so. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil over them to help them not stick, to give them some flavor. Season them with a little salt and pepper. Oops. Toss these around just to get them coated. Oh, try not to break them like I'm doing. Lay them cut side up like so. Little soldiers here. Now into the bottom of every one, we're gonna put a drop of this balsamic glaze. It's a little surprise that makes people go, oh my delicious goodness. What is that sticky stuff? And this is what it's going to be. I'm telling you, it sounds odd, but wait till you try it. You will understand why. See how thick that is? It's so good. Now we're going to take some of the ricotta mixture and fill each one with them. You don't want to go too overboard because we still have to top them with the breadcrumbs and the parmigiano. So just stuff them like so. Last one. Now, what we're going to do next is sprinkle some breadcrumbs over each one. Now, so much in food for me, it's not just about flavors, it's also about texture. And what I love about this is that you have the crispy top from the parmigiano and the breadcrumbs, the creamy, smooth, sort of subtle filling, and then you have that tangy balsamic glaze and that mushroom that just takes everything in like a sponge. And it's like a perfect bite, in my opinion. So that's why I think these go like hotcakes, because everyone loves them, and for a good reason. Sprinkle each one like so, and then we'll top them with a the parmigiano. Just grated a little parmigiano, and now I'm just gonna top each one with a little bit of that. And now we have that. Final step, we just need to drizzle a touch of olive oil into each one. This just helps with the browning and crisping up at the top just like so. And these are going to go into your hot oven, 425, about 20 minutes until golden bubbly all over the top, and then we're gonna dig in. Now I baked these for about 20 minutes. I took them out of the oven and let it wait for about 10 minutes, because now I really wanna dig into one. So I'm not gonna get my, cho I'm gonna choose this one. Oh, 
with that. I'm full grown. Like I said, the, the, the different textures is just what really adds to this dish besides how good it is. I don't know. There's nothing else to say besides that it's delicious and easy and you should make it. So get in your kitchen. First go on to www.learningkitchen.com to get the recipe. Then go in your kitchen, make these, and eat them. Bye! Thank you.